Welcome to Devotions from Israel, a five-minute word of encouragement. Today's devotion comes from Judges chapter 7. Following the time of the conquest of the land of Canaan by Joshua, there was a period of the judges. Now, for the most part, uh, and with a few exceptions of good judges, uh, this period of the judges was not uh, one of obedience to God. There was a vicious cycle happening, a cycle of disobeying God and not listening to to his laws, and then returning to God, repenting of sin, and then having this cycle repeat itself again and again. Well, Gideon was called by God to be one of these judges. There was sin in the land, and the invading Midianites were present in the area. In fact, the Midianites were from the south, and they were camped now in the Jezreel Valley. They were stealing crops. And Gideon is called by God to lead his people against the Midianites. And I find it interesting in this short word of encouragement devotional, the process in which Gideon reduced his fighting men. Perhaps you've learned this from a Sunday school class or have traveled to Israel and have actually seen the Harod Spring where this took place. Well, I find it really, really interesting to see what Gideon did. Early in the morning, Gideon camped at the spring of Harod. The camp of Midian was north of them in the valley near the hill of Moreh only a few miles away. The Lord said to Gideon, You have too many men for me to deliver Midian into your hands. In order that Israel may not boast against me, I think that's the key phrase in this narrative, and in her own strength that saved her, announce now to the people, Anyone who trembles with fear may turn back and leave Mount Gilead. So 22,000 men left with 10,000 remaining. But the Lord said to Gideon, There are still too many men. Take them down to the water, and I will sift them for you there. If I say, This one shall go with you, He shall go, if I say, This one shall not go with you, he shall not go. So Gideon took the men down to the water. There the Lord told him, Separate those who lap the water with their tongues like a dog from those who kneel down to drink. Three hundred lapped with their hands to their mouths, and all the rest got down on their knees to drink. The Lord said to Gideon, With three hundred men that lapped, I will save you and give the Midianites into your hands. So Gideon sent the rest of the Israelites to their tents, but kept three hundred. I believe that the Hebrew text allows for a different reading than the traditional interpretation that it was the three hundred alert soldiers who Gideon took into battle. Could it be just the opposite? After all, God did not want the Israelites to boast in their own strength to what would happen in that victory would be secured against the Midianites. But rather, could it be that Gideon chose the 300 who did not drink alertly? In other words, did God permit Gideon to take the 300 
less than skilled soldiers into battle. I think that's exactly what happened, because as the story unfolds, Gideon takes 300 with with ram horns in one hand and clay pots in the, in the other. They make a surprise attack, and the Midianites think they're outnumbered, and God brings victory. Isn't that how God works at some point. He takes even us, less skilled perhaps in our abilities, and yet he can use us in any way he pleases. I know I can speak personally about that. Sometimes I say, Lord, who am I that you should use me? There's many, many more skilled people than, than me. There's many more people who know more than I do. You get the point. Sometimes we feel that God can't use us because we're not the very best. Don't ever think that because God can use all of us as he did use the 300 less than skilled soldiers of Gideon. So be encouraged today that God wants to use you, no matter who you are, as you and myself, as we together entrust our skills to his use. Until next time, Shalom.